How do you do, Volthrax here, and today we will be going into this guy's territory. Or his Damn. security's You're territory. Mutants, huh? Nope. You're our kind of guy. I am a guy, that is true, but I'm not sure if I'm your kind of guy. You never know, he might not want to trust me, I'm terrible. I am pretty bad. Me too. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. Uh, sorry. I would let job. you in. Will you let me in? Scary. But Mayor McDonough's really Oh crap. Piper. Let's go to McDonough's. I'm hungry. Haha. <laughs> 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 yeah. I don't care if it's a lie. Right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. Exactly. Don't leave her. She's look just look at her. You need her. I need her. How are you? You want into Diamond City, right? I want into you. Uh what? Who are you? Uh, who are you? I want to know. Play along. What, I look silly. You said you're a traitor up from Quincy? Yes. You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> oh, you are a liar, and I like it. You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you yes. the one talking to crazy? Hey, she's the press. Using out on all the supply. Jeez, all right. Supply from all over. Need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. <laughs> Pied Piper. Are you gonna lead all the kids out? Danny catches on to the bluff. Yeah, just look at me. I don't look like a traitor. I look like a freaking warrior from The Witcher. Uh, let's go. Sounds good. Let's go. Look at my Great glasses. Day City. Another day, another looking up in the air. That's always where I look for some reason. Well then, what is going on over here? Maybe I should go in. I'm going. Piper, Hello. Let your back inside. I did. Oh, Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You now. rabble rousing slander. <laughs> of dishonesty in that paper of yours. Unless it was all true. Scrap for parts. Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. <laughs> Tyrant. We ask the newcomer, you support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech. I support it, sure. Uh, I hate newspapers. Uh, I support Always it because you were happy. Freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring of you course. into this argument, good sir. No, I'm in it already. No. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the Thank you. green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, I'm dressed nicely. a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. I will Don't settle. Let this muckraker here. Tell hey. Me all right? uh, you are full of it. This hasn't been the friendliest welcome. Not at all. Get you there, McDonough. Guess not everyone gets won over by that shark smile of yours. Especially <laughs> <laughs> uh, me. Was there anything particular you came to our city for? For her? Or wait, oh yeah, my my son. For her. Wait, my son, right? Just looking for something. Oh, uh, what is it you're looking for? Uh, a certain object about four feet big, maybe now. I don't know, unless I I don't really know. My son. My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait. What? I think he is. Missing? No, maybe. Yes. Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? Nothing. This isn't the first. Because I haven't told them yet. Come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken. No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't. You are you afraid. I'm very afraid. Confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Okay. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must. Uh -huh. have Who can help me? Well, the mayor can. Is, uh, one private citizen. Nick Valentine. Valentine. A detective. That is a detective a name for sure. I like it. Usually for debts or whatnot. No, hey, he's going. a meanie. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. Which better be nothing. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. Nope. They're a bunch of What's big the real butts. Security never investigates in the I've had enough of this, Piper. 
because now, you I'll kidnapped you things. And that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking. <laughs> about that. That's all you're good for. I'm hmm. impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight I, Can I claw you? I, I'm sorry. That, that was that's Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? Uh, oh. I think I just found my next story. Uh, oh. <laughs> Uh, I'll be there. Oh, looking at the sky again. Count me in. Count me in you. Oh, I'm sorry. That that that's just out of line. Out of line. Who are you? Are you taking a smoke break? You're that traitor Piper was Wait, who? What? Oh, hey. I was just over there. How could she be talking about it? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. Uh, what did I lie about? You're not the first guy Piper pulled into a heap of trouble he wasn't ready for. Thanks for being honest. You're welcome. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Oh! Anyway, at the door, the that's right. We were talking to you. I gotta get back to you're work. that, Danny. Alright. Oh, hey. So I guess... I guess it's all good. All good in the hood. Anything secret? No. Nothing. Alright. We are here. I'm here, everyone. The ultimate traitor of traitors. <gasps> what are you doing? <gasps> are they working out? How oh, fancy. Hey. How you doing? Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Terrible. Or amazing. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. She knows what she's talking about. The old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. No, you look like the office. Girl on Princess Diaries, kind of. I can kind of see it. Coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper. Uh. Whoa! Oh! 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 Looking at the sky again. Every time. Synthetic truth. October to some <laughs> the synthetic truth by Fiverr right. Noodles, we eat them. We all love them and Diamond City's power noodles has supplied the sustenance for the past fifteen years. From the silted mechanical cadence of Takanashi's program Japanese to the fragrant steam that wafts from each bowl, to the scalding tang of each delicious mouthful, the ordering and eating of noodles is but one of many shared human experiences, is it? I was struck by this very question as I sat at the counter of power noodles. Last Wednesday night, just after 5 p.m. and during a dinner I had so many times before, that's when I noticed our very own mayor, McDonald's, little up to a stool and engage in this very same ritual. Right hand extending, mouth opening, teeth chewing, yes, eating noodles, the shared experience of almost every Diamond City resident. Resident, whatever. So it must have also seemed to the residents of Diamond City nearly 60 years ago on an uncharacteristically warm May evening in 2229 as they sat around this very same counter. Wait, what? Oh, so it must have also. I am reading that wrong. As they sat, blah, blah, blah. But Takanushi news noodles. When the bar served not noodles, but ice cold Nuka Cola's frothy beers and stiff shots of whiskey, the barman's name was Henry in the night. He facilitated the shared human experiences of drinking. What is going on? Oh, that is until tragedy struck. There aren't many, many among us who are even old enough to remember that evening, although some of the city's ghoul residents certainly could. Oh, ghoul residents, yay. Had they not have been forcibly removed. Aw. Oh. Thanks to Mayor McDonough's anti ghoul decree of 2282. You bastard. We need them. But there is no one person among us who doesn't remember, or who does, distinctly the events of that evening. Respected matriarch Eustace Hawthorne, who recounted her story in a public occurrence. You spelled public wrong. Occurrence is exclusive interview. Oh, I was there all right, sitting at the bar of shit, blah, 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 looking. This is too much. Ah, Miss Kennedy, the other day. Oh, wait, we all were. Let me tell you. Somewhere, no matter, the smile, his laugh, and the way he'd make everyone feel at ease that night at the bar, we all just go to screen. Everyone, okay, Miss Carter was all happy to blush. Until it wasn't. Used to continue to count in the evening. One thing's been sinister. We've been drinking, carrying on. He, Miss Carter had four or five drinks in that time. He seemed drunk, and I guess, like the rest of us, some sort of thing. He was smiling, but the smile went. 
Okay, all in an instant. Then it's check started. Cheek started twitching. Kind of funny. I remember watching him clearly as it happened yesterday. He reached inside his coat, took out a revolver, and said, Blam! He shot Henry. <gasps> the barman right in the head. Didn't hesitate. Didn't show any emotion. Mr. Carter killed Henry as he casually as if he were paying him for a drink. But his cheeks never did stop twitching. Let me tell you that. Uh, all hell broke loose after that. What Eustace is describing is, of course, the infamous event known as the Broken Mask. When the people of Commonwealth learned for the first time the Institute, the shadowy scientific organization responsible for the creation of combat androids, had actually succeeded and created a model so advanced. Oh man, it could effortlessly infiltrate human society unbeknownst to the people of Diamond City. Okay. Since. Oh, so they. Okay. They're androids that take human form. After he shot Henry, that Mr. Carter shot three or four other people. Like I said, all hell broke loose. The guards came running. They opened fire. Mr. Carter, he kept shooting. And, oh, wow. Put him down. So it seemed like they had killed a man who had flipped his lid, gone crazy, and he lay there like a dead grizzly man. Sure enough, God, it was horrible. But then we saw the plastic in the middle. This was one of them early since, you see. And we realized it wasn't a man at all. It was then we all knew the Institute was just out there. The Institute was everywhere now among us. It was never to determine precisely why the synth known as Mr. Carter went on his killing spree. Some suggest, okay, so still others malfunctioned. All right. It was never meant to kill anyone, but at that time, the why hardly seemed important. What matters is that the humans of the Commonwealth had been truly infiltrated by an organization whose intentions and blah, 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 institute and service today, which brings us to Noodles. Okay. Uh, in the same spot that Mr. Carter, the synth went haywire and mercilessly killed several people after spending hours sharing an experience. Okay, human race, they were wrong. Are we? Oh. Well, that was... That was a, quite the read. That was quite the read. So that is why... Oh, hey! Terminator is... Okay. So the Terminator is coming for us. Do I want to go there? Uh, open. What is in here? Oh, I don't want to steal that. Oh man, save. This could be a story moment. You drop by? You holding up blue? Oh yeah, I'm I'm blue. What? Why are you calling me that? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing. You're a ah, vault dweller. She knew I'm a vault dweller. Maybe I, I shouldn't have been wearing this. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You are a smart lady. And, uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, ooh. You. Oh my goodness. You I like you. You are going to come with me. All the time. Do the interview. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. Yes, let's. So, I know you're from a vault. Oh, How that business. How describe your time on Inside of you or the vault? Oh, uh, we were frozen. Family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. About like 30 Wait. seconds. They boxed you up in a fridge? The yeah. The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Uh, yes, I remember the explosions. I, I'm gonna be sarcastic. Behold, I am immortal. You know, <laughs> I guess you kind of are, aren't you? Yes, technically. <gasps> The man out of time. Out of time? I had plenty of time. The Commonwealth. I am 250 years old. How does it compare to your old life? It's... I like you. Um... I've been having too much fun blowing things up to think about it. <laughs> Best answer ever. If that's the quote, that's the quote. I already know you're looking for your son. <laughs> That's how people know me from now on. Oh goodness. They might be actually. They might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. And people wonder why I can't just look the other way. Yeah, look at me. Look at you. Now look at me again. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. Okay. Threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to well, I think it does happen. Lost a loved one, but might be too scared, or that you might see her again, effect. possibly, or not, or she's dead. Uh, don't lose hope. No matter how much you want to give up, don't. 
You have to oh, man, sappy. <laughs> Fall in love with me. Fall in love with me. I like blowing up. Never lose hope. <laughs> yes, how freaking quick I changed. Just say the word when you're ready. I, I can't wait either. This is gonna be one story that I'll never forget. And you better not forget either. Hey dog, I'm sorry it's been wonderful, you've been amazing, but I'm gonna take you back to the town and come back for Piper. Cause I love her. I, it, it was love at first sight. Okay, give me all the stim packs, give me the purified water, take everything. Domestate. Goodbye, dog. It was such a good run. I love you. But, sadly, the girl is calling. Okay. Back to Diamond City. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna go talk to Piper, and hopefully she takes a liking to my Piper, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Okay. Piper! 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 Hey, Piper. Piper. Hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? Talk to me. Piper. Talk to me. Heading my way? Oh, ah, uh, heading in your way. Uh, let's go. Sure, let's go. Do. All day, every day. Whoa, whoa, hey, I didn't do anything wrong. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Look at the sky. Hey. Shoot. Don't shoot me. Okay, intelligence. I like how that just gives you intelligence. That's pretty cool. Got to say, that is pretty cool. Uh... Ho ho ho! Ho ho! Ho ho ho! That's nice. That is nice. What can I do? Uh. I like your outfit, but it's missing something. It is missing something. I feel kind of awkward in this situation. At least go with pants. You need pants. Where? Uh, can I give you pants? Is there pants? Uh, power pads? Combat armor, left leg. Okay. Uh, equip. Okay. That's not at all. Oh my goodness, I can't look at you. It's 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 too much. It's too much. It's too much. Shh, shh. Okay. I never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? <laughs> I'm very successful. As we can tell. Okay. I'm going to go get you some clothes. and brown nosing citizens, but it's home. It is home. You're my home. Okay. Anyone what? One of those things, it's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Mm-hmm. Most likely. Secretary, come on, Ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. Hey, you look like that guy in Fallout 3 that was a jerk. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. You Nick McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Well, yeah, let's cut everyone, see right if they bleed. It's a good idea. Haircut, the scav special. Ew. Blood, give it the personal touch. You should think about getting a trip. Uh, maybe. maybe later. Sure. Whenever. Whenever. Ooh. Ooh. Don't drop my mic. Okay. Hello. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Always. Is this about a facial reconstructive service? 
Um, facial, facial reconstruction. reconstruction. What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's special. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Okay. No, if okay. you have an actual. Uh, no, Not take today. you. Let me know. Mm -hmm. Will do. I will let you know. Who would have armor around here? I'm sorry. I I don't want to keep you naked. Hey, That's just pain, awkward. Right? Got 200 years old. Looking pretty good for your age, huh? Thank you. I have white hair. It's because I was frozen. And I let it go. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need some arms, clothing. Arms, <laughs> long arms. Right here. You? I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Whoa. Hey. Why? Why? Because I don't know you. And I will not serve a synth pretending to be human. I am no so synth. You? Do you see who I have with me? Miss Hattie? I'm human. Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. Thank you. I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Like a hawk? Yeah, or good eyes. Tony Hawk? Got it? All right. Good eyes. Okay, business, good. But... I will not funny stuff Let's you. you have. Just don't call Please have close. And some call it treasure. Okay, apparel. Oh, man, yes. I can buy her stuff. What should I buy her? Uh, Wastelander's chest piece? Oh, okay. 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 That might be worth it at some point. Uh won't do, won't do. I ain't telling you how to pick your friends. Okay, you pick your nose then. Hey, she's right there. She might be naked, but that doesn't mean you have to comment on it. You filthy. You're worse than me. And I was the one who dressed her up. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna end it here and find her clothes. Because I can't keep having to run around like that. That's just, that's just messed up.